Exponential notation, which is what we're going to be dealing with today, is just a shorthand way of being able to write things that are multiplied together. So, for example, if we've got 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, these 9 threes are all multiplied together, what we can say is we've got 3 to the power of 9. So this little 9 just tells us that we have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9 threes that are all multiplied together. Similarly, if we have like this, negative 5 times negative 5 times negative 5 times negative 5, what we have is 1, 2, 3, 4 negative 5s that are multiplied together. So we've got negative 5 to the power of 4. Alright, let's just look at some terminology that goes with it. The 3 we call the base, the 9 we either call the, sometimes people will call it the index, or they will call it the exponent. And we say, we read that thing as 3 to the power of 9. And we sometimes talk about this as having been written in exponential form. Right? So if you write it like this, that's exponential form, and it's read 3 to the power of 9. And here we can often call this just expanded form, right? Where you're actually just writing times 3 times 3 times 3. You're writing out exactly what it means. Okay, let's just look at a few examples to make sure we know what we mean. So 2 to the power of 5, what does that mean? It just means we've got 2 multiplied by itself 5 times. And what will that actually be equal to? Well, 2 times 2 is 4, times 2 is 8, times 2 is 16, times 2 is 32. So 2 to the power of 5 is just 32. What does this negative 2 to the power of 3 mean? It means this whole negative 2 has to be multiplied by itself three times. So the whole negative 2 gets multiplied by itself three times. So negative 2 times negative 2 is 4, and 4 times negative 2 is negative 8. What does this one mean? Well, this negative is not included here, right? See here, this negative was definitely under the influence of the 3. But here, this negative is not under the influence of the 3. The 3 is only going with the 2. So it's just the 2 that gets multiplied together 3 times. So we have the negative, but then what we have is just the 2 being multiplied together 3 times. And 2 times 2 times 2 is 8, so it's negative 8. And then in this case, we've got the whole 2x that's under the influence of the 3. So it's the whole 2x that has to be multiplied together three times. And I'm going to write that 2x multiplied by 2x multiplied by 2x. And what will that be equal to? Well, 2x, remember, just means 2 times x, right? So what we've got... is 2 times x times 2 times x times 2 times x. 2 times 2 times 2 is 8. And x times x times x is just x cubed. We can also write it in that way. Just a quick reminder, because it might be helpful. Also, I could have just written 2x cubed instead of using all those multiplication signs. Remember in algebra, right? We could actually just write it like that, because when we don't put any sign in between, we mean multiplication. And then again, here I can see that what I've got is 2, a 2, and a 2. That's 2 times 2 times 2 is 8. And I've got an x, x, x multiplied together. So I've got 8x cubed. OK, let's check that you have it. Pause the video and try these four examples for yourself. And then we'll go over it. OK. So, hopefully this one was easy. It's 5 multiplied by 5, which is 25. 
This one, it's the whole negative 5 that's under the influence of the 2, so it's negative 5 times negative 5, and that again is just 25. In this case, it's just the 5 that's under the influence of the 2, so the negative doesn't get repeated, so we get negative 5 times 5, which is negative 25. And then this one here, we're going to have 5a multiplied by 5a, and 5 times 5 is 25, and a times a is a squared.